In this fun geometry problem, we've got this quarter circle, and it's got these two chords inside it. And this chord AB has a length of 4 times root 2, and this chord BC has a length of 2. And we need to find the area of this big quadrilateral region. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. We know that this shape is a quarter circle, which means this angle down here must be a right angle. And this whole arc has to be 90 degrees too. Now let's take this entire diagram and move it up here so that we can complete this circle like this. And since a full circle is always 360 degrees, it is clear that this blue arc here must be 270 degrees. Now between these two cores we have this angle alpha. And one of the basic properties of the circles is that when you have an angle touching a circle's edge from inside and it is subtended by an arc of let's say theta degrees, then the measure of that particular angle is always theta over 2. And that's exactly what we have here. This blue arc is 270 degrees, and this angle alpha is subtended by that arc. So we can conclude that alpha is 270 over 2, which equals 135. Now we can go back to our original image. We'll draw this green line here, to create this purple triangle. And we've got this super cool property called the law of cosines which states that if we have a triangle such as this, with this angle beta over here, we can use this equation to find the missing side length. Now, in our purple triangle, this 135 degree angle corresponds to angle beta. So let's put cosine 135 over here. And we also know these two side lengths. So let's put those numbers into our formula like this. And this AC is the missing side we want to find. So let's type AC squared on this side. Now cosine 135 has a fixed value, which is minus root 2 over 2. And I'm gonna do all this math for you. And you know I heard some people complain that they don't know what to teach their children because they don't know which skill will survive the rise of the artificial intelligence. Well I think the number one skill we need to teach our children will always be math. That's why I'm going to let my son do a part of this problem in a minute. And so AC turns out to be 2 times root 13. So let's put that number here. And let this R stand for the radius of the quarter circle. And this distance is R2. And now my son will help find R. Are you ready, son? Yes. The triangle AOC is a right triangle. And it's an isosceles triangle too. And in an isosceles right triangle, if the legs are x, the hypotenuse is always root 2 times x. Let's turn these x's into r's. And in the triangle AOC, the hypotenuse is 2 times root 13. So, we can write down this equation. Root 2 times r equals 2 times root 13. Let's simplify the equation by root 2. And we find this r is root 26. Thank you very much, son. Let's change the r's to root 26. And now in this triangle AOC, the base is root 26. And the height is also root 26. That means we can easily calculate that the area of the triangle AOC is 13. Let's keep this super important finding down here. And let's revisit this purple triangle ABC. We'll find this triangle's area by using the sine rule for the area. And according to the sine rule, if we know the measure of a particular angle in a triangle and the length of the two adjacent sides, this formula can tell us the triangle's area. In our purple triangle, we've got this 135 degree angle and the adjacent sides are 4 times radical 2 and 2. So let's take all these values and combine them into this equation. And sine 135 has a fixed value, which is radical 2 over 2. And if we do the math, we find that all this stuff basically equals 4. So the area of triangle ABC is 4. Now to find the green area, we simply need to add these two areas. And it turns out the area of the green quadrilateral AOCB is 13 plus 4, which equals 17. So there we are people, we found the area of the green region, and it's 17. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to push the like button. And make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Have a good day and see you soon.